purple acres here at Edible Acres 2. Um, just doing a pre-filming of an area where I'm going to be putting up a cattle panel greenhouse. I've got a bunch of neat videos on YouTube. Thinking about making one, two, three, four arcs. So I'd be, I think they're 50 inches wide each. I got um, six of these used from a friend. These are 16 feet long and I believe 50 inches tall. I just, I'm starting to pull them off the truck now and I'm going to rough sketch out this and take a shot of that once I have that. We'll take a look then. Just using one of the panels, very, I mean, barely see it, but uh, just as a very, very rough sketch. A very loose charcoal sketch on the landscape. Where does this thing maybe go? And this seems maybe right. Where there'd be an arc here, and then one, two, three in series heading to the west, heading away from me. And that this would be the door side. A little hard to visualize because there's this whole set of honeysuckle and walnut. I don't want to cut those until the design proves that that's what I need to do. Um, so we'll see. I think this is right though, as far as how it works in the landscape. There's still space for the dogs to run over there. Traffic and flow can happen. There's waterway stuff I might need to do eventually. And then there's on the south side, enough room for a wheelbarrow, mower, etc. for access along on the south side of this. So maybe this comes in to the north a little. We'll see. But probably next shot will be this is out and all four are very, very roughed in. Okay, took the honeysuckle and the white ash, it looks like it was. Uh, took it apart for the most part. The last little bit I'll do with the chainsaw. All of this I chopped roughly with the idea with these nice new loppers I got from uh, I'm not trying to endorse them, but I do like what Fiskars offers. But these blaze through that material really nicely. They're chopped down, they'll go into a pile over here, and then the next few days I'll turn them into charcoal in one of my cut off 55 gallon barrels so that charcoal will go back into this greenhouse space. And now you get the idea first two, three, four, I think. I'm trying to include, there's a little waterway, a spring-fed waterway that I wouldn't mind having in the greenhouse. So I'm going to see if I can design that in. So next steps. This will probably be the only use of gas for the construction of this, hopefully. If I use the chainsaw just for a moment or two, it's efficient, really worthwhile use of, uh, what, an ounce or a half ounce of gas to get everything clearly stumped down. I'm going to try to design this so that all of this mess is included in one of the raised beds. Then there's a walkway, then another raised bed. So I can cover this with mulch and compost and basically bury it. Uh, so I don't have to try to stump it out. That would be miserable. All done. <laughs> uh, no, that's not true at all. Four uh, cattle panels very roughly put into position to give me a rough idea of a greenhouse. Very loose, very sloppy. Of course, now the wooden frame has to begin. I'm going to try to engineer something for our use here that's super simple, minimal amount of screws, you know, lots of stakes pounded into the ground and that kind of thing. And we'll start framing this out to see what it can actually look like. So far, I think it'll work pretty well for us. Let's see. I'm settling on a, a rough idea of how I want to frame this out now and I'm going to still stick with the idea of minimal amount of nails and screws and fasteners. So what I've got are 2 by 4 by 8 plus foot uh, rough hewn black locust. On the outside of them I will pound in black locust, I guess I'll call them staves. I'm going to be selling these this spring. They're sharpened heartwood black locust with a hole drilled through so you can put a permanent plant label through. Uh, and I'm going to plan to hammer in three for each of these. One, two, three on the outside so it resists flexing from the bow of the metal. And so there'll be one rail with one, two, three, a second rail, one, two, three. I'll do the same over there. And I'm using a seven foot length to decide exactly where the south side goes and then measure exactly seven feet off that to pound in the stakes. So that's my measurement system. I'll just go down the line once those are in. I'll flip the 
metal over so it has more this was the way it was arced before when it was used for pig housing I'm going to flip it and that will give it fresh tension and put it inside of those and it should look a lot more proper and firm at that point let's see okay got the uh, I guess rails in one two three four like I said I, I was uh, planning to and I think it's so far it's going to work um, hammer in all these I'm pulling a blank on what I should call them. Rails, pegs, whatever, sharpened points that are locust. Uh, on one side, the other, boom, boom. So there's four and four. And then the wire goes up and over. Now I'm hammering them in on the inside to pin them up against the board so there's less wiggle room. I still have to batten them down. Uh, it's still very loose. It's just getting started. Uh, now I need to go through and get these together, get them lined up properly and tied, and that'll get them a little tighter, and then go down the rest of the line with that same treatment, hammering on both sides, and then uh, tying them together with wire, and then paracord will be my thought, and get this all connected at the top, smooth, so it's starting to rough into shape. I certainly won't suggest to you, and I won't try again, to take cattle panels that were used already, that were already flexed into an arc, in a different configuration and then try to repurpose them for a greenhouse because I'm doing a lot of manual taking the memory out of it and adjusting here, adjusting there and trying to get back to an arc whereas if they were just good flat panels I think they'd come naturally into an arc that I would want so word to the wise for me and maybe save yourself the hassle try to do this with new panels or panels that have been used just in a straight configuration anyway I'll take another shot as we go. Oh, and I'm shaving the walkway, flipping it on either side so that it goes down a little so my head space is higher. And so I'm going to rough that out as I go. Walkway down the middle, probably keyhole, and, you know, back out. So garden bed, garden bed, and then the far end will all be garden bed. And that'll be the window down there. And it looks like we've got an active waterway feeding to that pond from a spring upslope that I can probably post hole dig and tap into to irrigate from. Let's see. It goes a little slower than I'd like, but I'm, I'm happy with the progress. Um, it doesn't look all that different from before, but what I've been going through and doing is that each of these posts that are driven pretty deeply into the ground, I've now gone through, I wish I had 14 gauge or, or a thicker wire, but I have 17 gauge uh, wire that I'm going through the holes and then weaving really really tightly like trying to pull each one of these joints together as tight as I can you know over under over really tight next one next one this one I was a little lean here there the next one I did I wrapped a bit more I don't think it's the prettiest thing in the world but it really feels like it's unifying this thing um, and I'm able to go through and flex out the weird bends and folds and slowly but surely it's becoming really straight straighter. <laughs> There's still the last section to do that you can see hasn't been matched up yet, but it's starting to want to hold on its own a lot more, and that's before I think I've come up with how I want to do it. I want to take a six foot uh, dimensional black locust that's sharpened, hammer it in, hammer it in here, and that'll make the doorway. I'll connect that with screws and then frame stuff out to meet up and hold this uh, so basically, like, hammer it down ideally below the frost line, or at least down in a foot or two inside the greenhouse. Um, so hammer those in and then run dimensional boards across that to help support this. Right now it seems like it would take a wind load pretty well, but a lot of wind it would start shaking. So we'll want to secure that a little bit more. But so far there's no screws, barely any measuring, and it's roughing out to be a really nice... Uh, space so far and we'll see how it goes. Once I get the last one tied in with the wire uh, I can start on the end walls and framing that out and coming up with the structural skeleton like a little backbone of wood that lives inside. Um, and once that's done, before I put the door on, before I skin it, my plan will be to come in, shave the pathways, get the access the way I want and start delivering wheelbarrow loads of compost uh, before I box myself out with a door so let's see how that goes.